Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Today we will discuss about one more SAP SD support project, real time tickets. So the ticket can be raised in any kind of project. For example, support project, it's always ticket only. And rollout project, in rollout project also, business will perform UVT. That time also they can raise a ticket and we need to give support for that. And in case of SIT, system integration testing. So one more internal team will be there. Whenever any kind of development has been completed, the internal team who is specifically doing this testing. So they will also test those scenarios and they will raise a defect in case of anything not working as expected. So ticket can be raised in anywhere. Okay, fine then. So there is an issue. The user saying that an output has been triggered from that invoice, F2 invoice, and that is in email output type, external send. Medium is five here. So the concern here is that the output triggered, the email has been triggered now, the email sent from the wrong address so in email we have that uh, from address to address will be there the from address is incorrect here that's the issue raised by business here let me log into the system Okay, so if I go to NAS configuration and uh, V3 is the application for a billing document and output types. Okay, so let me open any of the, select any of the output types and click this processing routines. Okay, so here you see one program that is driver program. So from this driver program only the smart form or SAP script or Adobe form, whatever the nature of that form, however it is developed, the key, the basic thing will be driver program will be there. From the driver program only smart form, SAP script or Adobe forms will be called or triggered. So in case of email output types, everything will be configured in the driver program only the from address to address body of this uh, email attachment and that subject line everything will be determined in the code level in the driver program only okay this is the nasty code and we can access the same information in table tnapr so we can give the application v3 here and if execute means I will get all the outputs available under application V3 means invoice billing document. And this is the driver program, and this is the form routine, and this is the smart form. Uh, here also you can see that form name also comes here. Yeah, you see here if I scroll down, yeah, you see here. Okay. So that's the issue. We need to understand why email has been triggered from wrong from address. So we debug that issue and understand that the from address will be retrieved from sales office only we know that sales office will be determined from ship to customer during creation of sales order since sales order ship sales, sales office will be coming from ship to customer and uh, when you create invoice for that uh, flow order delivery 
then the same sales office information will be transferred to invoice as well the field here is that vk bur let me open the table vbap so remember that it is available in item level table vbap only and here is there is a field called vk bur one second sales office I think VBAK, one second, VBAK, VKBUR, yeah. So in VBAK table level, we have a sales office field here. So from this table, from this here only, it will transfer to invoicing. So if I go to VBRP, and if I search VKBUR, and you see the same data from VBAK to VBRP transferred sales office updates here so when we debug understand that sales office not determined in the invoice level so there is a logic written in the driver program to get that email address from sales office from vbrp table only okay so from sales order to sales order here is table is vbak to invoice item table that is vbrp so this flow will happens but unfortunately there is no sales office determined there is no sales office determined into vbrp as it's not determined initially in vbak if that is determined in vbak then it, then it will flow to vbrp as well So we identified that and uh, this is the first logic from models will be retrieved from sales office only if there is no if there is no sales office determined from uh, invoice item level or it is determined but uh, no email id maintained in the sales office then email address will be retrieved from from sales org level so in sales server level also we will be maintaining the email address but unfortunately in these two cases from sales office level here sales office determined at all and uh, sales org is determined but there is no email address has been okay but here no no mail id maintained the last logic has been added to get it from TV RVC variable. So there is one custom logic added to get it TV email address whenever these two conditions failed. Whenever these two are not satisfied, then get that uh, from address from custom TVR TVRC variable. Okay, this is the flow actually. First it will verify sales office level, then it will verify sales org level, finally it will go for TVRVC variable level. Okay, so the the thing here is that sales org level we haven't maintained the script only, but and and moreover, so many invoices created on the same sales org level, but in those outputs, for other examples, email triggered successfully. The reason here is that for other invoices, the sales office determined correctly there, but coming to our case, no sales office determined. Okay, as no sales service determined in sales org level and sales service level, it is it is, is taken from TVRVC variable. Now we need to verify why it is not determined into order level initially. If it is there in order means it will directly transfer to VBRP level as well, right? As it is not there in order level, it is not didn't transfer to VBRP level. Okay, now we can't go to business user and say that sales office not determined order level. That's why we don't get the email address. I mean, we receive the wrong email address. This is not the solution for this ticket, right? Now we need to analyze why sales office not determined into order level. Okay, we need to analyze why sales office 
is not determined into sales order level the reason here is that in the ship to customer level ship to customer level sales of is is not maintained as reason because this is a new customer that's why it is not maintained then we informed the business to maintain the sales office in the ship to customer level so the root cause here is that to maintain sales office until we reach to that last point we should keep on analyze this issue right the last point where it started that point we should reach then only that ticket can be concluded without reaching that point we can't say that issue is fixed no and moreover for the already triggered outputs with the wrong email address we can't anything for that that's already done the salary triggered with wrong email address we need to leave it with that we can't do not after maintaining the sales office ship to customer level the future transactions invoices we will get the expected email address for the future only the current one is issue will be there we can't do anything now if still they want to do it means definitely there is even bad way is there that is the way to update sales office in the vbrp table level in the debug change mode if we update that then if we repeat that output for the same issue invoice then it will work okay so this is how we should analyze this issue if you still have any queries you can do let me in the comment section we can discuss further that's it from this video Thank you friend keep watching bye for now